All right, we are back in the Soda Solar shop for some more experimentation. Uh, we've got a MultiPlus hooked up to my computer, 200 amp capable uh, lithium battery, 200 amp hour, and a breaker, a shunt, four odd cable and lugs, my phone connected to the shunt. And what I want to talk about today is breakers. Now I've covered up the label here because you'll see in a minute, um, I'm going to give them a chance to maybe fix this, but for right now, here's what I want to draw your attention to. So see the labels on here? One says 70 amp, the other one says 300 amp. And if you can look at the size of these, um, they are exactly the same. Now for comparison, this is another one I got off of Amazon and I have tested these to be good. This is 200 amp and look at the difference in the lug sizes here. I'll just set these right up. Yep. Uh, yeah. So look at the si diff size difference in the hardware. And like this is a 3 8 inch uh, lug. Fits over that perfect as it should. This, well, one, I can't even get it on, really on there without grinding some away. I've had to do that on this. And uh, just the, the terminal itself is just way too small. So uh, let's get on to what you came here for. We are going to run a space heater from this MultiPlus 3000. Space heater's down there. And we're going to see if this 300 amp uh, breaker can support it. It should. 4 odd cable. Everything else is in, is in spec with this. Should not be a problem. So let's turn this on and see what happens. Here we'll have the phone right here. So you can... Uh... Oh, there we go. See the amp rating there? We're going up to 85 amps, 97 amps, 101 amps, 104, 112, 115. I believe we're going to hit somewhere around 120. Really sucks the juice down on this. 121. And now what's happening is the breaker is getting warm inside. And at some point, the thermal material is going to pop like that. Now, let's talk about what's good here. Good news is, it popped. I can smell it. Oh, no, that's the heater down there. <laughs> uh, good news is, and I can feel it, it's actually... good. Luckily, this is not hot. I was worried... I was worried initially that this somehow internally was rated for 300 amps and I was afraid that everything in it was going to melt but luckily uh, it's rated for I don't know, probably 70 and it just takes a while to heat up. Um, you know I would say these are almost all the same most likely. I found it out, this out the hard way years ago uh, on our bus conversion. I ran a breaker like this because I didn't know any better and I thought my alternator went bad and maybe it did I don't remember exactly but um, yeah just pay attention to the hardware uh, I've tested once ones like this I've been running I think close to 200 amps through it on my bus to manage my alternating current and protect it and uh, it has worked appropriately this one is one you would want to use these tiny little ones, don't touch them. Unless you actually only need 60, 70 amps, something like that. But uh, this one's not even good to 120. <laughs> so uh, what else do you want me to test? What other ideas? Uh, I'm kind of having fun with these. I did the solar panels, now I did this. I've got another couple of solar panel ideas, but uh, anything related to solar, off-grid, batteries, I'd love to test it. I've got time here for the rest of the summer. 
and I'd love to test more things. So leave it in the comments down below. See you guys next time. Bye.